Hey, what's up guys? So I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to create and use item banks within Canvas. So item banks is a feature that Canvas created um, a few years ago with new quizzes. Um, so it's only an integration with new quizzes. And it's a tool that you can use to create assessments. Um, basically, you're creating the banks that you're putting all of your questions into. And then from there, you can take those questions and create assessments. So let me show you through these guys here. So if I go into one of my classes, and I go down to quizzes. I'm gonna create a new quiz. Now, like I said before, this has to be with a new, with new quizzes, not classic quizzes. So I'm just gonna name this item banks. Come down here and I'm gonna build. Now, I already have a bunch of item banks set up. So what you guys will see is if I come here and I click on item banks, these are all my item banks. So here's how I set my item banks up. So I set them up based on standard and then also objective within standard. So this is standard 8.1.1 and then this is atomic models within 8.1.1. 8.1.1 location, 8.1.1 molecules, so on and so forth. So if I was to click into one of these, I have a couple different questions built into these item banks. Now, if you want to create a new bank, you would come up here, click New Bank, and you could click your Test Item Bank. Now, once you've created that bank, like I said, um, you can add questions in there. And so let me show you how to do that. So if I create a question, so I'm in my quiz now, um, and a multiple choice question, and this is a sample question. I'm just going to do to make some things up. So one, two, three, four. So I can come down here and so I've created my question. I can come down here to item banking and I can say add to bank. Now this is an existing bank. If you want to create a new bank, you can do that there. So I come down here to test item bank and I would add that here. Okay. So here's what that looks like. If I come here to item banks, if I go down to test item bank, you'll see that question here. Now I can edit that here. I can also, if I was in another one of my courses, I could add this question just like that to my tests. So let's say, for example, I wanted to come here and I wanted to add that question and I wanted to add this question and I wanted one of the questions from here. So this is a stimulus type question and so on and so forth. Okay. So you can see it's really nice to have your, your, um, questions banked in there creates it makes creating assessments really easy. But here's where it's really powerful. So I'm going to delete some of these. So let's say, for example, I'm making a test. I'm creating a test, and I want students to take this multiple times. Okay, so I'm giving students the option of taking it multiple times. So for example, it's a form A, form B. So they take the test, they don't do well, but I don't want to make a form B. Here's how I do this. So if I click plus and you go up to item banks. Let's say, for example, I'm creating a test on 8.1.1. If I click into here, I can say add all of these questions okay, from this bank. So I have one, two, three questions from this bank. And I also want to add all the questions from this bank. Now, there's a couple different options here. If I want to come here, so it says there's one to one out of three. So this is questions one, two, and three, four, five, and six. So I can come down here and I can click on this and I have a couple of options. So I can change the bank in which I take these from. I can also come here and say the questions I want to use, I want to use all of the questions and I want to give them two points each. Or the way I like to do this, like I was saying before, if you want to create form A's and form B's without recreating tests every single time, the way I do it, especially for my quizzes, is I say randomly select questions. So I'm going to say I'm going to take two questions out of this bank and I'm going to give them two points each. So it'll randomly take two questions out of this bank and I'll give them two points each. So when a student comes here, student A is going to get the first and second question out of this bank. Student B sitting right next to them is going to get the, the second and third question or the first and third question. Okay, so it's random. So when they go to retake the test, could it be the same? Sure. 
Um, but most likely the randomness, they're going to get new questions. So I might do this for this one. I might say, I want to use all of the questions in this bank and they're going to, I'm going to assign them two points each. Okay. So that's how you create tests using item banks. You can also come here and say, manage item banks. And that's where you can come and you can click on these things, these item banks, and you can edit these questions individually. So you can come here and you can edit these. Okay. So I hope that was helpful.